Tonight, we pick up where we left off 24 hours ago, examining the mind-blowing probe into rap music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. Homeland Security investigators raided two homes belonging to Combs. This was in connection to what is widely assumed to be an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. It's what Homeland Security does. Developments in the raids, Brendan Paul, who is alleged to be Diddy's drug mule, was arrested on cocaine and marijuana charges that allegation of being the drug mule comes from a civil lawsuit. Now, investigators say he had in his possession drugs. Meanwhile, Diddy has sold all of his shares to Revolt TV, which he began in tonight. Combs' whereabouts remain a mystery to the public. Let's bring in our panelists. Joining us now, criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, Bayoji Akingbala, Todd Smith, CEO of Regal Media, and publicist Bridget Holden. Bridget, let's start with you. <laughs> this so is funny. a public relations nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Can you ever recover from something like this? <sighs> if I was his publicist, I would resign because <laughs> he has been in trouble for some time. It's been murmurs, and now it's blown up to this. So when Cassie came out, and it was so many damaging, I want to say another word, against him, evidence, and it probed all of this because she had receipts of everything that he had done, everything that she had been through. So it's kind of hard to not believe, you know, what she has. So that's the damning evidence against him because of everything that she had in her possession. And Bayoji, you have made the point that the most recent lawsuit is also very damaging the former producer. Yes, a uh, key word I just heard from you is receipts. Um, in, the, in the most recent lawsuit, there's a lot of photographic evidence of all the claims that were made against Diddy in that lawsuit, uh, most alarming of which is the allegations of human trafficking of, of minors, particularly that I think um, federal law enforcement agencies may be particularly interested in. Mm -hmm. And many people are saying they saw according to TMZ, his plane, his registered plane leaving the country. That doesn't necessarily mean anything as of yet because there's no warrant out for his arrest, right? Absolutely. It's important to note that at this stage of, of this investigation, it's merely an investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, there's no indictment. Uh, no one has been under arrest. No one's been charged with anything. So Diddy is free to travel wherever he wants to. Um, and we also have to, looking forward, bear in mind that most countries have extradition requests. So it's not as if he has many places to go uh, that's going to prevent him from facing whatever is coming. And for those who may not know what the extradition process is, that's being in cooperation with the United States or other governments saying, if you want this person arrested, we will work with you. That's absolutely correct. All right. Yes. Todd, your thoughts on this and what you're seeing in the media? I think it's over with for him. I mean, it's too much smoke. Like Bridgette said, Cassie came and she had receipts. So we would always hear murmurs of stuff that Diddy would do. You'd hear podcasts, uh, hosts, people who were in the music industry, people who were with rival record companies say that Diddy did these things and investigations were going to come. There's a guy by the name of Reggie Wright, who was a good friend of Suge Knight, who was also a former uh, police officer in Compton, who would always say, watch. I've heard stories about Diddy. Some of his um, his former bodyguards would say that he would they would all drug women and do these types of things. So when Cassie's situation came out, it just to me it just solidified all the murmurs and all the rumors. And the media situation is like nowadays an accusation. We talked about it all the time an accusation can ruin your career. But when you have those receipts, I don't see him recovering from this. And with the revolt deal, I knew that that was coming way back in December. I have you no know, trusted sources like, okay, they're pushing him out and there's a new regime coming in. So the process was already in play to remove him from some of these situations. And from a PR perspective, I know this is Bridget's uh, area of expertise, a lot of things that he was doing leading up to this was to try to soften his image, mm -hmm. giving money to Howard, changing his name to Love, mm -hmm. donating money to this. You knew that this was coming. Mm -hmm. So let me soften my image ahead of time. but. I think the damage is it's, it's too late. The damage is already done. Uh, we hear too much about celebrities and powerful people abusing that power. I don't mm -hmm. think society is going to accept that anymore from anybody. You know, because in, nowadays you don't necessarily need these gatekeepers. And we consider Puffy a gatekeeper in the entertainment industry. With the internet, the YouTubes, and the, and the, and the social media, I don't necessarily got to go through you. Right. So why would I put up with that from you? Cassie mm -hmm. was from more or less the old school. Right. You know, I mean, she's late 30s. She was 19 at the yeah. time. She's 37 mm -hmm. now. So she came in 
then when I came in, oh, we, we got to meet this person, meet that person. I don't need you, dog. So why would I put up with that? So I think he's the tip of the iceberg, and I think a lot more people allegedly are involved, a lot of Hollywood people, they're going to see their little kingdoms crumble down, too. Because if he speaks. If he speaks, that's true. If he, does, if he doesn't speak, they can probably push it under the rug and he takes the fall for it because there are too many powerful people connected to all of this. Do you think he would do that, though? Like, I'm like, I know snitching ain't cool, but... Well, you dog, know what they you, say about snitches. That's true, too. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> Just to kind of add to... Um, what uh, I forget Todd. Todd. what Todd is saying here. Um, the court of public opinion may have already yep. found Mr. Diddy giddy, uh, guilty, but uh, at the end of the day, the federal prosecutors are going to have to prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt, and that's going to have to rely Way heavily beyond. on <laughs> evidence. I know that with this investigation, they were noted to have pulled out a lot of videographic evidence, or a lot of uh, videotapes, and a lot of uh, cell phone data and laptops. It remains to be seen what is in those laptops, what are in those cell phones. But uh, if there is information such as what the uh, the statements were made in Rodney Jones' uh, um, indictment, or excuse me, lawsuit, then that's going to really be what's going to dictate it, whether or not this case is going to actually lead to some type of conviction for Mr. Diddy.